Today we're going to be discussing the red heifer update. We're going to discuss Israel. We're going to discuss how, how does it affect us? What do, as a prepper, as someone who lives sustainable, not only that, someone who uh, has a Christian perspective on life, what does this mean? This time in, in history for a lot of religions, from uh, you know Christianity with, uh, with Easter and the resurrection, uh, to Passover with uh, Israel and the Jews, to even Ramadan with the Muslims, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of tension. Well, today we're going to talk about it because it does impact you. Even though it's in the Middle East, even though things you think it's, it's you know far out, it actually affects you more than you think. Let's jump into what I'm talking about today with the Red Heifer Update and how important it is. No matter what side of the aisle you're on, no matter what you believe, um, this could benefit you. Let's jump into it. Today's video starts right now. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Without you by my side. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up. That does help us and we humbly ask you to do that if you like this content. Comment below, tell us what you think about this video. It, it has a lot of wide array of opinions when it comes to uh, some of the things that we're gonna be talking about today. All right, now let's talk about the video at hand. So a few updates and the reason, I, I wanna talk about the updates with the red heifer situation, but then I want to go a little deeper and saying how it pertains to us because some people say well look it's dealing with with Israel's dealing with the Temple Mount it's dealing with all that stuff and it really how does that pertain to us especially as a Christian how does it pertain to us especially as someone who don't believe how does it pertain to us so the October 7th we know was pretty much done and really was to help disparage this point in time when it comes to the red heifers. There were five red heifers and now there's only four. They, they've kind of weeded one out so there's four left um, that they're looking through based on the research and the news that is coming out of Israel. The red heifer update was saying for the Jews that we were going to sacrifice the 10th red heifer uh, close to the temple or where the temple was originally going to be built and they're going to start building the third temple. Now that is where we're at. Uh, the, the, the actual Temple Mount is where Muslims have their uh, mosque. And so therefore, there's always been a lot of problems and tensions around that site. Now also for Christians, remember, there's three religions that basically, you know, kind of adhere to the Abrahamic covenant, different variations of it. Of course, Christians and Jews deal with the fact of, of the, the Bible and the Abrahamic covenant. Now, Christians diverge a little bit from Jews because, again, we believe that the Messiah has come, Jesus. Jews do not. Muslims believe in a totally different way, but they also take the, the Abrahamic covenant and that area as very important to them as well. So the reason we talk about this is because when you take those three groups, Christians, Jews, and Muslims, as a whole, that is the majority of the world. That is the majority of the world in those three faiths. So whatever happens there impacts the world based on how many populations and people believe in the Abrahamic covenant for one group or another. So that's why it's important. So now, update, four heifers still are there. They're in the age where this has to be done in 2024 if these are gonna be the one of the sacrificial heifers. Now, they have built an altar. They've built it in the Mount of Olives. You can look it up, there's pictures of it. But they've built the altar and based on information, it's ready for sacrifice. So now what's the next step and what is, why is it a big deal? So we have the, the, the altar built at the Mount of Olives, which is, is basically right beside the Temple Mount. The Jews believe that when they sacrifice that heifer, that's going to bring in a time of rebuilding the temple, which is going to bring in their Messiah. Now, as Jews, they believe their Messiah is still to come and they're going to set their kingdom up for um, time and time again. On the Muslim side, the reason they see that as a problem is because they're saying if, if Israel goes through with this, they know that that sacrificial heifer is going to start the process of them wanting to get rid of the mosque. Now, this is all just speculation. This is just talking through what they believe. So, if they see this red heifer being slaughtered and sacrificed, then they believe that now Israel is going to push Muslims out of this area and there will be all out war. Major escalation. Christians believe this. First of all, as a Christian, this red heifer has no significance as in my salvation or Messiah. 
we know our Messiah has come. Actually, our Messiah became the sacrificial lamb, the sacrificial um, uh, offering for us as Christians. So that's what we believe. What, what some Christians believe, though, is as this takes place, this brings in the start of the quote-unquote end times, meaning maybe the rapture of the church, maybe the seven years tribulation, maybe some harder times, but all the while, the Messiah will be coming back, our Messiah. So that's kind of where we're at. Now, one thing I think we have to realize, as a Christian, we have to believe if this time comes and they start this process, all that war will happen. Escalation will happen. You have uh, the Red Sea now has got Russia there, China there. We're there. What does that mean? You're going to see a major escalation. What do we see in our Bible of what's to come at the very end of time before the rapture or right after the rapture? We see someone who brings peace. Well, there's been a lot of people back years ago in the Jewish, um, in the Jewish lineage, that said that you know Netanyahu would be the one to hand off the keys. Netanyahu, Netanyahu would be the one to hand to the new Messiah. Well, as a Christian, I don't know if I believe that because as as a Christian, we believe that the Messiah has already come. We believe that Jesus will come back one day. Uh, but here's the thing: we also believe that. There will be a time of an antichrist. There will be a time of someone who falsifies himself as the, the peacemaker, the one who brings quote unquote peace to the Middle East by building this um, this you know this this treaty and ultimately uh, gets rid of it a few years later. So could this be the start of of, of, of prophecy? Maybe. We don't know that. Here's the thing I want you to, to think about though. Here's the thing I want you to take from this video. Because everybody's probably saying, Colby, you're going way too, this is, this is too much. I, I thought this was a prepping channel, breaking news. It is. No matter what, there is the majority of the world looking at this area for a reason. If it be for wealth. If it be for uh, the Abrahamic covenant, depending on Muslims, Christians, or Jews. If it depends on the fact of location and proximity. All this value to this little area that smaller New Jersey, all eyes are on. The fact that the red heifer is so important and the reason we're updating, the reason we're talking about it is because if they start that process, there will be major escalation because you're going to see one side saying it is time for us to build our temple, which starts their, their uh, you know, war basically for end times. The other side is saying, you are trying to infringe on our temple mount. This is ours now. The Romans gave it to us. This is our place. So therefore, the whole Muslim nations, all the Middle East, not just a few that's backing the Palestinians, I'm talking about the whole Middle East at that point will come towards Israel. Then you have the fact of the Christian saying, well, this is the start of, of you know war in Israel and Jerusalem for the rest of time. This is where we'll end. Now, why does it pertain and what value is it to you, even if you're not a Christian, even if you live in America? Because escalation with any kind of situation like this could bring catastrophic nuclear war. It could bring catastrophic cyber attacks. It could bring you, you landing on one side or the other. So therefore, we're seeing all these rallies and protests all in our cities. What if all of a sudden escalation happens is those riots and those protests going to get worse here in america based on the fact of support of palestinians or muslims or the, the the fact of supporting jews you're going to see some issues there one thing you don't think about look at russia and ukraine now i i don't, I don't want to dive into that that's not really what's part of this but the leader of ukraine is is supposedly a jew the leader of argentina just uh, that I actually like the guy and I like his policies, but he just um, converted to Judaism. There's a lot of leaders of these areas that are on both sides, left and right, that would either support Jews and Israel more than some of the others. However, some of the people that have backed, you know, the Jewish people, I think of like Turkey. Turkey is a Muslim country. However, they have given a lot of support to Israel. Now they would turn against them. So you would see everything go upside down and everyone would be in this battle based on the fact of the Abrahamic covenant and the fact of a red heifer being, being sacrificed. It would make everybody have an opinion 
and a lot of leaders have an opinion because they're going to fall on one side or the other. Now, this would also split the left and the right in half. The left, you have a big part of the left that, that has Jewish ties, Jewish lineage. So it would it would actually take that group of the Democrats, which I would consider more the moderate Democrats, the establishment Democrats, and put them against the very leftist of the party, which is like your, the squad members who support more of the Palestinian movement. You would you would split that. On the right, we would do the same thing. You'd have your Christians and your, your Jews on the Christian side, your Messianic Jews, and also your more conservative-minded folks who believe in sovereignty, and even some of the establishment who believe in war would be on one side. And then you'd have the ones that, that actually have some different beliefs on the Jewish kingdom and, and the belief of, of Christianity and the right, very, very right individuals. So you would actually have massive splits all across the board. So which what what would that do? That would make for massive chaos even in our own country across our two-party system. Think about that. You go, think right now, if you're a liberal or a Democrat, think about your side and think about the people that are standing for Israel and not. On the right, think of my side. Think of people like, you know, of course, your Ben Shapiro's and, and Daily Wires who support Israel. But then there's some on the right that says, we just need to leave them all alone have nothing to do with them and be completely um, out of that fight and get away from it and not support any of them. So there, there's going to be different avenues with any group of individuals we're talking about, and this happens with every country. So that's why this escalation is important, and that's why this Red Heifer update needs to be talked about because this one slaughter of this animal could bring in a very, very chaotic time. So it matters why. You can't prepare for everything. I know that. I can't prepare for everything. But when we talk about spiritual prepping, when we talk about healing and making sure that we are focused on no matter what happens either today, what happens tomorrow on Easter, what happens on Passover, what happens when this, this takes place, or if it never happens and it's 20 years in the future, we should be prepared spiritually to face that situation to know that we got to rely on our faith, morals, and values, and make sure that we're teaching our children that. When it comes to the physical and mental, we have to be ready for anything. Think about the trade towers. Think about um, the ship that just took place. Think about some of the chaos that you've seen, earthquakes, hurricanes. Now that has nothing to do with the red heifers, but what I'm saying is those things happened without warning. They happened without knowing a provocation. They just happened. So if that stuff just happens and you're not prepared with any and every prep or anything that you can possibly do to say, you know, this is a smart, wise decision, common sense approach to prep, to buy things, to have things, then you won't be ready for the little things, much less something like this of this catastrophic of a proportion because that could actually happen it's not about fear it's about the fact of reality and understanding history and what it means that's why october 7th and the leaders of this this group that came in said this is why we're going to israel because we're going to get control of those heifers and we're going to make sure this never takes place because they know if this takes place it will be an escalation of epic proportions and i don't think the jews will stop at nothing to make sure that happens then sides will be drawn and then war ensues. So a little of a deep dive today. It was not to say to scare you. It was not to say to make you fear. It's to say this time from Easter to Passover, from Easter to 2024, because they said it could go all the way through 2024. If we see this escalate, the altar's there, the priests are there, these red heifers are being inspected each and every day. If that takes place, what's next and i believe you're going to see an escalation and you're going to see a provocation for more war but not only that you then you're going to start seeing even the two-party systems split because you're going to have opinions on muslims on christians on jews you're going to have opinions on the fact of you know non-religious people saying we shouldn't even be there you're going to have opinions on uh, countries that are getting involved such as jewish leaders that are over other countries or non-jewish leaders that are over other countries it's going to bring in chaos. Deep dive in your history a little bit. More than that, I want you to realize that no matter if something happens today or 20 years from now, if you're doing the things by trying to prep spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and you're trying to take care of your family the best and common, most way that you can 
in the best, most wisest way that you can, then you're going to be as prepared as you're going to be for any of these situations. I want us to realize that this Red Heifer update, especially for me as a Christian, it's not the fact that that truly matters to personally me. I'm not reading updates every hour to see if they're going to sacrifice today. But I do believe it's going to bring in harder times. No matter if it end times, take that out of it. It's just going to bring in chaos. Chaos will, will put leaders in charge to say, okay, this is what we've got to do. Well, I'll be honest with you. If we have a black swan event or we have a chaos situation, I don't know if uh, our president now is the one that I would want in charge of America because I'm scared that he would make bad decisions. I believe that he is not competent to make good decisions. And the people that are um, running him, I don't know if they're the ones that I won't make a decision, especially because they were not elected and we don't know, quote unquote, who they are. So there's a lot going on. And I, I want uh, the reason I keep bringing these little updates up and we talk about April, we talk about the fact of these heifers is because I want you to see that, that this is very, very important to the majority of anyone who believes in some kind of Abrahamic covenant. And so that's the majority of the world when we talk about the billions of people in the world. It affects a lot of people and it will affect a lot of countries, even if those countries are not one of those Abrahamic covenants those countries may have leaders that believe in certain ways. So therefore, I believe that you could see a lot happen with one red heifer in the Mount of Olives. As a Christian, we believe that Jesus is our sacrifice. He, he laid it all down. He was the ultimate sacrifice. So we don't personally need this as Christians. But for the Jews, they're still looking for their Messiah and they're not doing anything to stop it. And so therefore, when they're ready, they're, they're going to start moving towards it. And I think that's when you're going to see an escalation of epic proportions let me know your thoughts this was a deep dive but you know this is a very spiritual time of of america this very spiritual time of the world with the th three religions um, i want you to realize the severity of that and i want you to prepare uh, the best way you know how take your kids to church tomorrow take your spouse to church tomorrow it will change your life i promise you if you give it a chance um, you'll realize the importance of jesus thank you for watching god bless Happy homestead, y'all. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high.